Because P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you got to tell him no. We're we coming to you live. Um, Diddy Late Nights. Okay. We here. We, um, we want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed or nothing. No homo. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause. But like, check this out. But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle. He used to always get up early in the <laughs> Cat Williams has been giving heat to all the top dogs in the entertainment industry and honestly, it's beginning to get serious. Previously, he exposed Steve Harvey for having relations with Diddy and now he's accusing Jay-Z and Pete Diddy again of doing scandalous things and getting away with it. The allegations have been heavy and since they've been ongoing for years, it's time to start asking some important questions. How much does Cat Williams actually know about the industry? Let's figure this one out together. Diddy the Abuser Before Cat Williams accused Diddy of abuse, the rap mogul's exes dropped their allegations. In November 2023, Casey Ventura sued Diddy for physical and mental abuse. She claimed in the lawsuit that Diddy would force her to do sexual activities with different men and record it. When he wanted to show off his dominance, he would force her to watch those videos. Diddy also introduced Casey into drugs, forcing her to take pills until she started doing them herself. It's quite similar to the story of how Diddy exposed Usher into a world of women when the R&B singer was still a teenager. You understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was. Diddy was entrusted with the job of taking care of Usher and introducing him to the entertainment industry. Instead, he exposed a teenage Usher to a wild world, which he wasn't sure he could be a part of. For some people, Usher should have enjoyed the opportunity presented to him, but he was just a child and didn't need to be in the midst of all that. He was supposed to be trained on how to navigate the music scene and get the most out of his talent. After Casey Ventura's lawsuit against Diddy came out, three other of Diddy's exes also sued the mogul. They all had similar stories and one thing was common, the abuse. Diddy was hitting these women, recording them having sex with different men and emotionally abusing them. Another shocking revelation about Diddy also came to the light through Jaguar Wright, one of the former signees. She claimed that someone working for Diddy once caught another artist giving him a blow job. Diddy led a claim to her that if he could make a straight man do sexual acts with him, that he could control whoever he wanted. For Diddy, it was all about power. And when you have power in the industry, you'll be unstoppable no matter what the circumstance. These allegations by Jaguar Wright were later confirmed by Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard who claimed that he had been at the scene of these acts. This dude, this rapper. So uh, I'm hearing at the door and stuff like that, like, yeah, so then Next thing you know, somebody rang the doorbell. We had the presidential suite where we was at. So I opened the door and uh, the dude said, yo, I'm here for my cousin. I said, who your cousin? And he said, uh, Ja Rule. I said, well, he busy right now. He said, oh, he busy doing what? I said, he with Puff, they're in the room, they busy, they don't want to be bothered. But allegedly, according to Cat Williams, Diddy wasn't the only one abusing women. His friend, Jay-Z, was also into the business of doing questionable things with minors. Jay-Z may just be like Diddy. Jay-Z has also fallen to the pool of allegations because of his association with Diddy. Cat Williams claimed that Jay-Z was also guilty of assaulting minors, especially the ones he gave opportunities to become big in the music industry. There are rumors of him having sex with Rihanna when he just brought her to the US when she was just 16. There were also rumors that he had sex with Aaliyah when she was 15 before R. Kelly continued where he left off. Jay-Z, although he denied it, has been accused of cheating on his then-girlfriend, now wife, Beyonce. It was assumed that he slept with a close associate of Beyonce, which inspired one of her albums. The billionaire was also accused of being a woman beater and despite all of these allegations, he was never officially charged to court or convicted. Just like P. Diddy, he has been walking free and claiming top spots for himself in the industry. He's one of the richest black men in the entertainment industry and to achieve that feat, you must have contributed a lot to the industry and also sometimes taken advantage of people. Jay-Z tries to separate himself from P. Diddy. Ever since Cassie accused P. Diddy of abuse, Jay-Z has been trying to distance himself from Diddy. With the kind of heavy allegations placed on Diddy by his ex-girlfriends, Jay-Z doesn't want to be caught close to Diddy. 
If it turns out that Diddy is found guilty of abusing Casey and his other exes, some of Jay-Z's secrets may also come to light. There'll be lots of digging that needs to be done, and based on the rumors, Jay-Z and Diddy have had some carnal knowledge of each other, if you know what I mean. Based on the court documents, Diddy likes to record his freak-offs, as they call it, and if he has done anything with Jay-Z, the videos may still exist. Now, if those videos are exposed, it could take Jay-Z's career under, destroy his family, and traumatize his children. That's a lot for one man to handle. Why are people angry about Diddy's sexuality? Judging by the rumors in the industry and other places, Diddy seems to be interested in men. But why is that something that people should be angry about or even judge him for? Diddy has been denying his alliance with the LGBTQ community for years. He has been dating women and cosplaying as a straight man for the longest time. He even got married to a woman at some point. But he seems to be attracted to lots of men in Hollywood. At one of his parties, he forced Chris Brown to dance with him when there were so many other people at the event. Chris Brown looked uncomfortable as Diddy rubbed his shoulders and wrapped his hands around him. It wasn't a great sight to behold and Diddy didn't seem to get the message. Cat Williams, on the other hand, has made it clear that he was never going to attend any party hosted by P. Diddy because of the kind of things P. Diddy was into. Now, it has never been a bad thing to be a part of the LGBTQ community, but denying your sexuality is where the problem lies. If all the allegations about Diddy are true, he could have done himself a favor and admitted his sexuality. But it appears that Diddy only likes to be with men when he wants to control them. Is Jay-Z innocent? For Jay-Z, he has built his way up in the industry, going from being a passionate rapper to becoming a billionaire with lots of investments under his belt. While he and his wife, Beyonce, appear to be couple goals, there's a whole lot that goes on behind the scenes. Allegedly, Jay-Z sleeps with his new signees. Before he places them in the limelight, he has a taste of whatever they have to offer and the rumors continue to be shut down. While these rumors may be fake, his relationship with his wife seems suspicious and may hint at something bigger. Beyonce was just 18 years old when she first met Jay-Z, who was 30 at the time. Jay-Z claims they were friends for a year and a half before they decided to start going on dates. Why exactly is a 30-year-old choosing to be friends with an 18-year-old? I mean, what could they possibly discuss? When she turned 19, they started dating and the relationship lasted for 7 years before they got married when she was 26 and he was 38. During the show with the two, Beyonce claimed that Jay-Z taught her how to be a woman. This is nothing compared to what you've done. And not only me, but everybody here. You taught me so many things. I was 20 years old when we first How exactly can a man teach a woman how to be a woman. If she had said he taught her how to be a better person, now that may have gone over better. But your husband who has been accused of cheating and abuse teaching you to be a woman? When bro has a 12 year age gap with you? Mm -mm, that sounds fabricated. When the clip of Beyonce thanking Jay-Z went viral, the internet went wild. Most people said the ones complaining were overreacting, but you never know. Now that Cat Williams has dropped his bombshell allegations, it seems like they might be onto something. P. Diddy and Jay-Z may have a lot of questions to answer. However, we may not get the answer in this lifetime. It's possible that we may only get to the truth in a documentary decades later. Who knows? We are dying to hear your take on the situation, so let us know in the comments down below. That's all for today's video, but if you enjoyed it and would like to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, check out these other videos we have and make sure to hit notifications so you know when we come out with a new video. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you in the next one.